Hi, dears. Good morning. How are you all? I wish you are all fine, safe, secure at your home with your parents. You are lucky students to join plus one classes. The YouTube channel La Mathematics welcomes you the online video classes of plus one mathematics. It is very important to enjoy the online video classes. I am so happy to be with you to make you familiarize with the test book of plus one mathematics published by NCERT. As far as the curriculum is concerned, we all know that the approach is learner oriented and activity based. This test book is designed in such a way that it make you fit for studying higher educational institutions like IIT, NIT, IISC, etc. Once again, welcome you all to the first year higher secondary mathematics classes. For plus one mathematics, there are 16 chapters. One, sets. Two, relations and functions. Three, trigonometric functions. Four, principle of mathematical induction. Five, complex numbers and quadratic equations. Six, linear inequalities. Seven, permutations and combinations. Eight, binomial theorem. Nine, sequences and series. 10, straight line. 11, conic sections. 12, introduction to three-dimensional geometry. 30, limits and derivatives. 40, mathematical reason. 50, statistics. And last chapter, 60, probability. Let us start with our first chapter, chapter one, sets. Set. A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. That is, in set, the collection must be well-defined and the objects are not repeated. That is, repetition is not allowed in the set. Elements. The objects which constitute the set are called elements. The elements of a set are known as members or points of a set. Capital letters like capital A, B, C, etc. are used to denote sets. And small letters like small letters A, B, C, etc. are used to, to denote the elements of the set. That is set contain elements and they are called members or points. Sets are represented by capital letters and elements in the set are represented by small letters. If A is an element of the set capital S, then it is written in symbol as A belongs to S or and is read as A is an element of S or A belongs to S. If A is not an element of the set capital S, it is written as A does not belong to S and read as A does not belong to S. Tabular method or roster method. In this method, the set is represented by listing all its elements, separating the elements by commas and enclosing them in braces. Here, list all the elements without repeating. Example, first, set 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is the set of odd integers less than 10. Second, set 5, 7, 11, 13 is the set of prime numbers between 3 and 17. Here in the example, first and second, list all the elements 
without repeating. Rule method or set builder method. In this method, the members of the set are represented by stating their characteristic property. Example, first, x such that x is a prime number and a divisor of 6 is the set set 2, 3. The set 2, 3 is in tabular form and set x such that x is a prime number and divisor of 6 is in rule method or set builder method. In first case, we state the characteristic property and in the second case, that is in set 2, 3, we list the elements, that is prime number and divisor of 6. Second, x such that x equal to 2 n, n belongs to capital N, is the set of all positive even numbers. x such that x equal to 2 n, n belongs to capital N, is the characteristic property of the set, that is the element is of the form x, where x equal to n even number. This can be written in tabular method as set 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Here we list all the elements. This is called tabular method. x such that x equal to 2n, n belongs to capital N, where capital N is the set of natural numbers, is in set builder form. Types of sets. First, finite set. A set consisting of a definite number of elements is called a finite set. From the definition, it is clear that number of elements is like 5, 7, 10, 100, etc. That is finite number of elements. That is a set consisting of a definite number of elements is called a finite set. Example, set 4, 6, 8, 10 is the set of even numbers between 3 and 11. Here, number of elements is 4. That is finite set. Infinite set. A set having infinite number of elements is called an infinite set. That is, a set which is not finite is also called infinite set. In this case, we cannot find the number. Example, set 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. This is the infinite set of wall numbers. Null set or empty set. From the definition, it is clear. A set which has no element is a null set or empty set. That is, a set has no elements. It is denoted by phi. Example. The set of integers between 5 and 6 is 5. That is, there is no element between 5 and 6 for equal sets. Two sets, capital A and capital B, are said to be equal if they consist of exactly the same element and we say that A equal to B. Here, the two sets A and B are said to be equal if they have same elements. Example, capital A equal to set X such that X is a letter in the word L-A-S-T, last. Capital B, X such that X is letter in the word S-A-L-T, salt. Here, in the case of A and B, A and L and S and T, four letters. No repetition. Here A and B are equal 
that is a equal to b equivalent sets two sets capital a and capital b are said to be equivalent if they have same number of elements example p equal to set 2 4 6 8 10 capital q equal to set a e i o u p and q are equivalent sets since number of elements in capital p is 5 and number of elements in capital q is also 5 but they are not equal therefore we can say that p and q are not equal but p and q are equivalent sets and there is an important note equal sets are equivalent set but converse need not be true the earlier example capital a x such that x is a letter in the word last and capital b x such that x is a letter in the word salt number of elements in capital a and number of elements in capital b is 4 therefore a and b are equivalent sets and it is equal set also subset proper subset super set if capital a and capital b are two sets such that every element of capital a is also an element of capital b then we say that a is a subset of capital b in symbol we write a subset b when capital a is a subset of capital b it means that a is contained in b or b contains a here capital b is called super set of a and is written as b super set of a notation b super set of a if every element of capital a is in capital b but every element of capital b is not in capital a then we say that a is a proper subset of capital b in symbols we write a subset of b if a is not a subset of b we write this in symbols a not subset b example capital a equal to set 1 2 3 3 that is number of elements in capital a is 3 that is a is a finite set capital b equal to set 0 1 2 3 4 that is number of elements in capital b is 5 that is b is a finite set here a is a proper subset of b that is every element in a is an element of b that is a subset of b but b not subset of a not every set is a subset of itself that is a subset of a that is every element of a is an element of a itself second null set is a subset of every set that is phi subset of a that is every element of phi is an element of capital a it is very clear third elements of capital a are in capital b and elements of capital b are in capital a then a subset of b and b subset of a hence we can write a equal to b that is every element of a is an element of b and every element of b is an element of a both of them occur when a equal to b 7 power set set of all subsets of capital a is called 
power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. Example, that is all subsets of A is called power set of A. Let capital A equal to set 1, 2. That is A is a finite set and number of elements is 2. The subsets of capital A are null set 5, then set 1, set 2, set 1, 2. Four subsets. That is P of A equal to set 5, set 1, set 2, set 1, 2. Universal set. A set which is super set of all sets is called universal set. It is denoted by capital U. Disjoint sets. Two sets A and B are called disjoint sets if they have no elements in common. If A intersection B equal to 5, we say that a and B are disjoint sets. The notation intersection we will study later. Example, let capital A equal to set 1, 2 and capital B equal to set 3, 4, 5. Then A intersection B equal to 5. A intersection B means the elements common to both A and B. A has elements 1, 2. B has elements 3, 4, 5. That is, there is no elements common between A and B. That is, A and B are disjoint sets. 